Hello, what you're looking at here is a palm. And it is a plant that is commonly associated with tropical islands, desert oasis or other remote isolated places on Earth. And they are also often seen as wild or exotic in the minds of many people. But first of all, what makes a palm a palm? The term basically refers to any plant that belongs to the taxonomical family of Aracaceae. While this group is actually quite diverse, it includes around 181 genera and around 2,600 species known to science. The family also belongs to a larger group of plants known as the monocots, together with bamboos and irises. They are characterized by having only one embryonic leaf when they started to germinate from the seed. No matter how big they can get, monocots are not typically classified as true trees due to the lack of wooded structures. Now when it comes to taxonomy, they can be divided into two main types, and both of them have got compound leaves instead of a single leaf. First of all, there are the palmate ones, where all the leaflets of that leaf radiates or comes out from a single point in the leaf forming a fan-like shape to it, so it's almost like that of a marijuana leaf. So the common and widely cultivated examples of palmate palms include those in the genus of Livestonia and those in the genus of Washingtonia, that you can see here. Another main type of palms is the ones with the pinnately compound leaves which means the leaflets of the leaf radiates from different portions or latitudes of the leaf. The famous examples include the coconut palms and the date palms, those in the genus of Phoenix, those that have got leaves that resemble the feather of birds. In terms of the growth habit, the vast majority of palms can also be divided into two main types. First of all, there are the multi-stem clumping types, that are generally shorter. Examples include this Chamorops umilis, which is native to the Mediterranean region, commonly called a Mediterranean fan palm. Another type are the single stem or single trunk palms that are generally grows taller, that they can typically reach the size of trees. Common examples include the coconut palms and the date palms. On the other hand, plants such as ferns, pandanuses, and cycads are often misidentified as palms due to their similar growth habits, their similar habitats, and uh, appearance in general. And all of them are not closely related, and uh, that is only a result of a phenomenon known as convergence evolution. So do you know how big can palms get? Yeah, the size can differ a lot depending on the species. The plants that you are looking at here are actually wax palms that came from Colombia and they can actually reach over 50 meters or even occasionally into 60 meters in height given the right time and the right growing conditions. But why would they ever need to reach that height is because palm trees don't typically gain in girth once the trunk is established, and they don't typically grow outwards or horizontal branches like a typical wooded tree would do so, except for those in the genus of Hypheanae, which has a unique alternate branching growth habit, which is not found in any other types of palms. On the other hand, the smallest palms belongs to those in the genus of Rapis, and those in the genus of Chamadoria, such as this is the species of elegans. That they rarely grow over 2 meters of height, and then the girth of the trunk is as thin as a pen or a pencil. In terms of the ecology, most species of palm trees are actually species of secondary succession. They require well-developed soil to grow and they often germinate under the canopy of other types of trees. That means the ecological role or niche that they play is similar to that of the beech and maple trees that you can see in this grass. 
Well, the palms often live in a friendly relationship with other small animals such as bats, birds, and various types of insects by providing food and shelter for them. For example, fruit bats would often live under the hanging leaves of the palmate palms. So, where are palms native to? And the vast majority of them are native to the tropical and subtropical regions of the world, and they can be found in both high altitude and also low altitude regions. And only a handful of species are native to temperate regions. So the examples of them include the Chamaerops humilis, which is a plant that is native to the land around the Mediterranean region, and also the Nikau palm, which is native to New Zealand. Uh, last but not least, what are the uses of palm trees to humans? First of all, they can provide food in the form of fruits. Things like coconuts, dates, and beetle nuts are all foods that can be harvested from palms. They can also provide a large amount of building materials. For example, coconut leaves were used to build roofs of huts in various parts of the tropical world. So palm leaves have also been used as a material for constructing things like baskets, hats, or even fans and brushes. The tree trunks of palms can also be used to construct the canoes and houses. On the other hand, palms are often planted as plants for providing shade, and they were also used as ornamental plants because they often give people the image of uh, exotic or particularly tropical looking places. Um, to sum up, despite that palms are not true trees, but they can be treated and used like those trees, and they also provide tree-like benefits to both the ecosystem and humanity. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then feel free to like and share it. And if you like the content of our channel, then please feel free to subscribe for more.